I think living in the wild is like an adventure because you never know what's going to happen. It's something that I, I learned to embrace as something that could make me grow as a person. The wall is a waste of money, really. You could use the money on other important issues. People are desperate for better opportunities. A wall isn't going to stop them. This American school is right next to the border wall. It might be in the US, but 85% of the students live in Mexico, and they make the long, difficult journey to cross the border every day just to get an American education. It's 4.52. Right now it's 4.52. It is somewhere around 6 a.m. I usually wake up at 4.30. It's 5, 7 a.m. in the morning. It's five o'clock in the morning and I'm outside the port of entry between the Mexico and the US side. I've just got a text from Sol, one of the girls I'm meeting from the school. She's on her way and she's been going for approximately an hour already. It takes them about three hours each morning just to cross the border and come to school. They must be shattered already. It's now seven o'clock in the morning and the students are told me they're just coming through. Hi, Sol. Oh, I'm Haley. Sol, like many other students, has a student visa that allows her to study in America, even though she lives in Mexico. So, what do you think about I, making this journey I, every day? I like it. You like it? Yeah, I like waking up early now. Before, I, I hated it. I like my school. They, they teach really well. I think my English is better than if I had studied in Mexico. So, since President Trump has got in, you're now having second inspection. So you get inspected yeah. once. I used to have it before Trump was elected, but okay. it was way less. It used to be like once every, I don't know, three, four, five months. Now I've gotten it a lot in this month. Seoul isn't the only one. 85% of the students here come across the border each day. Why do you guys make the journey and come to a school in the US? You can learn like more languages and explore by yourself and have a better life. And in the States, there is, you know, there's so many opportunities given to you. It's just whether you take them. What is that journey like for you? Tell me a bit about it. You know, there's a lot of bad stuff crossing the border every day. And even though they know we have, we come from a school, they try to check us every day. So how long can it take? Like what's the most amount of time it can take you to depending get on the, Depending on the officer. You can get up to three hours or one hour. Really? In secondary inspection. It makes you very late for school sometimes. Recently, uh, there was this incident that the officers had to come in from outside and they came out with shields and stuff and they were pushing all, everyone back. That was kind of something big uh, that I've never seen. They were hitting us with the shields, like pushing us back. And it was like a bad experience. President Trump wants to build more wall and he wants to make border security stricter. I think border security is a must, um, but I don't, at least to me, I don't believe a wall's gonna fix anything. Right now we have like the wire things that yeah. cut you and they still get yeah, over the fence. Yeah, they still get over. The wall's not gonna So the wall's them. not stopping them? Yeah, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. If they can't uh -huh. They're gonna find a They're way to get They're gonna find a way. So do you guys ever feel um, nervous about losing your visas? Maybe not, not up to us that we're American citizens, but our parents or family. I'm Mexican citizen. <laughs> so I think. I have to carry like two passports mm -hmm. and the century cards so I can go through. If I cross like a mango, because mangoes, you can't cross them, they could take my visa. If I forget my passport when I'm crossing, they could cancel my visa for like three months. There's a lot of things. That... So there's a lot of reasons why they yeah. could take your visa and you kind of live in fear of that. The head teacher is from Mexico himself and he hopes that getting an education in the US will benefit both sides of the wall. Just coming to America is not the only answer, the only solution. Uh, I think that a lot of times we, we look at America as the savior of the world and fail to recognize that there's a lot of issues and problems just on the other side of that fence. And, and I think that part of what we're trying to instill in our students is that, you know, we're not trying to give them a new identity. We're simply saying, look, whether you pursue your life here in the future, um, we'll prepare you for that and you can succeed here. But if you want to go back home, Hopefully what you learn here, you can still take back with you and, and, and make changes over there and still have a wonderful, beautiful life. So America is the land of more opportunities, you think? Yes. yes.